arrived at the, toward the end of 1977. I came because I had read Secret Life of Plants. I remember the first day when I stepped over the threshold at Clooney Hill that uh, suddenly I, I just felt the energy. I did, didn't know that one could feel energy from places and from people. I was not so much looking for Finhorn, you know, that was not the point for me. I was really uh, trying to understand what was at the heart of having a meaningful life. We showed up in September of 71 with a tent. The letter telling us not to come went back to the United States and we showed up and they were very gracious about having us here. I came here last year to do spiritual deepening, which is a 12-week program. It's amazing. When I arrived at Findhorn, um, what it was like for me was I felt I was coming home to a spiritual home. It was just extraordinary. I never realized or felt orphaned. I felt connected to all these people. I felt something beyond their personality, their persona, their politics. I don't think this has been done before when there's been a community that has been founded on strong authoritarian leadership and that it has changed there to uh, a group and a group consciousness. The 70s had been quite a period of expansion. There were uh, lots of new properties were built, the community was growing very quickly, we'd been working for five or six years on the building of the Universal Hall. We created such miracles because we believed. After being here for three and a half years, it's clear this is real. This is not a fantasy, this is not sitting on a mountaintop having a mystical experience. This actually works practically. I've been working as a gardener for two years and I have seen the four seasons twice by now. And it's, yeah, feeling, you know, feeling at home in nature and feeling that, you know, everything, every single plant, every single leaf has God in it. Finhorn continues to ignite a flame in people's hearts, a flame that suddenly supports the individual no longer to think about what's good for me, but what's good for us. How many people have passed through Finhorn in 50 years? Somebody will probably come up with a big round number, but it's going to be a, a big number. I think part of its achievement is a continuing refreshing and renewing of its roots and its origins. So in a way, part of the success and part of what we want to take into the future is a deeper sense of where we've come from. I hope Findhorn will be continued to be a leading light in educating more and more people and linking up with more and more other centers around the world, as it already does. We all need to continue working together to make this kind of a community the norm and not the exception. Put God first, because if that if other things are put first or they're trying to work out something, that isn't it. You've got to do it all from from the mm -hmm. God within. Mm -hmm.